Hello, I'm Seek97 and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect Mumble, the voice communication software I showed you how to install a few videos ago. How to connect that to a Murmur server so that you, other people can connect and talk to you. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to run your actual server. So what you want to do is go to start and type here, Murmur. Should show Murmur there. Click that. And now your server is successfully running. Going to forward a port that was required for the mumble to successfully connect to Murmur. Now this needs to be forwarded by everyone who's going to connect to the server, not just the local host, but everyone who's going to use this mumble server to talk. They have to forward this port. So you want to do is go to your router homepage. So usually you can find this IP at the bottom of your um, router. So you want to but you type that in. So for me it's 192.168.0.1. And now you want to find the port forwarding, so I'm not sure how to get that on your router, but basically once you get the port forwarding, you want to create a new port, the name could be anything, so I'll call it Mumble. Start port needs to be 64738, and the same for the end port. The protocol needs to be both, or TCP slash UDP. And then the local IP needs to be your static IP. Now to find this out, go to start, and type CMD, and then find CMD. And then type IP config. Scroll up to it, it says IPv4 address and it should tell you your IPv4 address, mine's 0 0.6. So I'm going to put it here, 102.168.0.6, add, and now you've successfully forwarded your port so now you can connect to your Mumble server. So now I'm going to show you how to connect to your server if you're the local host of the server. So what you want to do is to open Mumble. And when you open Mumble by default, this Mumble server connect should open. Now you want to do is click Add New. Label, you can call it whatever, so server test address, because you're the local host of it. You write local host or location or one word. Port 64738, which is the one we forwarded. And then username, whatever name you want to be called by, so I've got 697. Click OK. Click that one under favourite. Click Connect. And it should say, yes, you're connected to your Murmur server. I'm going to show you how to connect to the Mumble server if you're not the local host and you want to connect to this server. So what you need to do is to get the local host to tell you the external IP. Now this can be found by going to ipchicken.com and basically it will be the blue text here but I'm not going to show you it for obvious security reasons. But basically you want to take that external IP, you want to open Mumble and you want to add a new server label call it server from outside and now the address you want to put in your external IP which obviously I'm not going to show you again then you want to click OK connect to it and it should successfully connect like it says here so then you've connected to your server if you're not the local host of it now if you notice the server name is called root now if you want this to be a custom name what you need to do is to close mumble and close the Murmur server and then what you want to do is go to start, find notepad and then right click and run as administrator and then you want to go file, open and now you want to go to computer local disk, program files 86 if you're 64 bit but if you're 32 bit then go to program files but I'm 64 bit so I'll go on here and then find mumble and now change this to all files and then find what says Murmur and then two files below should say Murmur and it should be a configuration settings file. Double click that and it should open loads of this information. And now what you want to do is to scroll down. Uh, as you can see here, it's got a port here, so you can it's 64738, which means we have, which is why we have to forward that. And server password, you can set a password, but I've left it blank, which means there's no password. And it's this one at the bottom here which says register name equals mumble server. Now this hash means that we haven't edited it, but if you take it away it means we can edit the name. So it's originally called Mumble Server. We're going to take that off and we're going to call it My Server. File save, close this, and now we can restart our Murmur server. So start again. Reopen Mumble, connect to our server, and as you see, it's not called root anymore, it's called My Server. So we've successfully changed the name of our Mumble server. 
thanks for watching this very short series about Mumble. If you liked it, then please like the videos of that small series. If you want to uh, got any questions, and put them in the comment section below. If you want to subscribe, then please be my guest and subscribe, because that would help me a lot. And yeah, thanks for watching.